This is the assembly model we have to implement. At the base, we have a gear driven setup. We will be having two gears and a GT2 belt for gear driven setup. And second one is a prismatic joint sliding through three linear guideways through a lead screw setup. And uh, at last we have a revolute joint. For that, we, we, we need a ball bearing at the joint. The links are fabricated using acrylic sheet, which is cut in the fab lab of CET using lesser cutting. I will be explaining the components required for the fabrication of Skiara robot. First one is a 12 volt power supply, then an Arduino mega board and GT2 cable. For the sliding of links through linear gateways, we need three linear bearings. And links are fabricated using acrylic sheet. And we are using stepper motors NEMA 17 and NEMA 23. NEMA 23 at the base and uh, NEMA 17 for the prismatic joint. First figure shows the arrangement for placing motor NEMA 23. And a second figure shows the driver for NEMA 17. Third figure shows the driver for NEMA 23. Gear is designed in SOLIDWORKS considering constraints of GT2 cable and using laser cutting it is cut in acrylic sheet and there is a design for coupler. Coupler is made using nylon rod in machine lab. We need ball bearings for revolute joint. We need a ball bearing in between gears for base revolute joint and for third revolute joint. We need three linear guideways for sliding of second prismatic joint and a lead screw setup uh, for the up and down motion of second prismatic joint uh, using motor. And uh, we need nuts and balls for the assembly of the wall model. This is the final assembled model. You can see there are three joints. A revolute joint at the base which is driven using a gear belt driven setup and second one is a prismatic joint and third one is a revolute joint. We are using a NEMA 23 for base belt driven joint revolute joint and we are using a stepper motor NEMA 17 for second prismatic joint and a stepper motor for third revolute joint which is also belt driven. We need to connect Arduino board with the system using a LAN cable and we have to give appropriate connection with the driver and Arduino board and other connection between driver and the motor. Power supply of 12 volt is given. We have uploaded the code for second motor in Arduino. And using lead screw setup, the prismatic joint is sliding upwards. We need the following files for the ROS control of hardware. We need these two files. I will open the two. This is the file for serial communication. This is the second file we needed. This is the code we have written in Arduino IDE. We have two stepper motors and one servo motor. Just see the code. Here we have a callback function, we are calling get angles function in the callback function and in get angles function it will be taking the three angles. We have a folder move it underscore custom in that we have a file joined get dot by Arduino data is the topic name, string is the topic type. 
take terminal and run ROS code. Then we need to upload the code in Arduino IDE to the Arduino Mega board. Compile and upload the code. We need to launch the mod.launch file. Model is open in Arvis. Run this code for serial communication. Run this code after establishing serial connection. The model is in default pose. Change to some other pose. Plan and execute the path. You can see that angle changes to some other angle. Simultaneously, if the connection is correct, the hardware will also work. When we are updating the pose and executing it in RVIS, corresponding change will be happening in hardware also. You can see giving some other pose and executing we have only given uh, the security connections of third join so you can see the pose of third join is changed. Thank you for watching the video.